A development site in southeast England, the unlikely setting for the controlled explosion of a recently unearthed World War II landmine. In many parts of the United Kingdom, unexploded ordnance, or UXO for short, can still pose a significant threat to construction workers and expensive plant and machinery. An amazing 20% of British land has been used over the years for military purposes, for firing ranges, training, disposal of munitions and so on. And during the Blitz of World War II, it is estimated that 10% of German bombs failed to explode and often buried themselves deep below ground. Backtech International is the UK's foremost explosive ordnance disposal and clearance company. Its reputation has been built on second to none expertise and years of experience both at home and abroad. On greenfield or brownfield sites, Backtech will identify any threat, carry out an exhaustive survey, investigate potentially dangerous targets, coordinate clearance that leads to certification. This process begins with a desktop study. Archive information is interpreted by Backtech experts. During World War II, air raid wardens, the Civil Defence Office and London Port Authority recorded the positions of bombs as they fell in order to best understand the German bombing strategy. Yeah, there appears to be some damage to the roof and to the road, by the look of it. At the same time, the architects working for city councils updated damage maps like this one in order to budget the post-war cost of rebuilding. While target photographs taken by the Luftwaffe also add to the evidence of where bombs were dropped and in what quantity. Backtech's non-intrusive surveys using state-of-the-art magnetometry are ideal for the investigation of greenfield sites. But on brownfield sites, non-intrusive technologies can be misled and an intrusive survey is called for. This construction site is in a coastal region heavily bombed during World War II. Today, as we build higher and bigger, and therefore pile deeper, the risk of striking an unexploded bomb, or UXB, is very real. The survey truck can drive a probe deep into the ground to UXB penetration depths. A specially developed sensor surveys a column of earth well beyond the capability of non-intrusive systems. Objects as deep as 16 meters will be detected. The system can quickly and effectively record the vertical depth of a magnetic anomaly, its horizontal distance from the probe and its mass. Backtech software achieves the greatest accuracy because it has been designed to filter out a site's ambient magnetic signature. The intrusive technique can be used to provide specific clearance of boreholes, individual piles or pile groups, or, as in this case, in a matrix pattern for general area clearance. The data gathered by the truck is fed to Backtech headquarters where it is analysed. As each sector is pronounced clear, it is coded green on the map of the area under investigation. These techniques and technologies are not relevant just to dry land. They can be applied in marine environments too. As was the case when Backtech International was engaged to clear the former naval dockyard at Portland. The dockyard had been in military use for more than a century, and painstaking surveys of the seabed revealed many submerged items of ordnance. These were brought to the surface where they could be safely disposed of. Backtech prides itself in being able to provide a full clearance service. This residential development site in southern England has a UXO problem dating back as far as the First World War. 
Backtech is the principal contractor working in accordance with the latest CDM regulations. Health and safety are, naturally, paramount. The seven hectares of land on which new homes are being built were once a Ministry of Defence Ordnance Evaluation Site and Disposal Centre. Here, both Allied and captured munitions were tested or buried. Backtech's solution here is an exhaustive, non-intrusive survey using state-of-the-art magnetometers and proprietary software. Backtech's unique AGS system extends the detection boundaries of buried ferrous objects and explosive ordnance contamination. It outputs high-resolution subsurface data which can be swiftly interpreted. AGS is a total field system ideal for open spaces. But in more enclosed areas with adjacent structures, Backtech will deploy the more tightly focused gradiometer system manufactured by Forster. In other words, Backtech can deal with the prevailing conditions of any site with the confidence that no misleading data will be generated. The results of the surveys are colour plans and lists indicating the location, depth and likely mass of potential targets warranting further investigation. Targets like this one. This is a World War II German S mine. The weapon is X-rayed in order to assess any threat it might pose. The mine is deemed to be live but safe to move as far as the demolition pit erected on site. Preparations to dispose of the UXO are meticulous. What's going to happen then? Uh, sentries will be going out shortly. Bill, your sentry one. I okay. uh, want you base of the compound. Sentry 2, Mark, north side of the road, ran down to the junction. Sentry 3, Graham, south side of the road, down to the junction. Sentry 4, Neil, down the fence line, the MOD, stop all traffic on the MOD side. The MOD have been informed, uh, there's no traffic, uh, no troops in the area. Uh, all heli moves are being suspended in tow for the noise. In order to be made safe, the S-mine has to be destroyed by a controlled explosion. Backtech is licensed to dispose of explosives of 7.5 NEQ or less. Expertly placed plastic explosive is used to blow any fragmentation into the earth and not into the air. All sentries, this is control. Close in the cordon. Stand by. Fire in now. Some non-ferrous and potentially lethal items of ordnance were disposed of on this site decades ago. These can only be found by painstaking visual searches. This is a 74 grenade, an anti-tank weapon that was basically a glass bulb filled with nitroglycerin on a Bakelite handle. Also vital on this site is chemical monitoring. Some of the buried ordnance dates back to World War I when mustard gas was used as a weapon. Believe it or not, thousands of items of ordnance were disposed of here by burning. It was not an effective method. The legacy is many tons of spoil containing potentially lethal items that must be found. First, the spoil is carefully filtered. Thereafter, there is no substitute for sharp eyes, quick hands and many years of experience. On this site, the process of threat identification followed by survey and investigation yields remarkable results. Thousands of devices are found, 8% of them live, some of them almost a century old. There are hand grenades, projectiles, landmines, ammunition of all shapes and sizes, together with metallic echoes of the men who once served here. Backtech uses several exhaustive techniques to clear areas on land and the seabed and offers a comprehensive service from threat identification right up to disposal. Once an area has been completely decontaminated, certification is granted, meaning that building can begin with the confidence that there is no more UXO to be found here. Backtech's expertise in unexploded ordnance or UXO is second to none. 
The company provides risk mitigation services for governments, non-government organizations, local authorities, the Ministry of Defense, the United Nations, the European Community, and multinational companies for the oil, gas and construction industries worldwide. We hope this program has helped you understand the real and dangerous challenges posed by UXO and how Backtech can help you meet them swiftly and safely.